Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the fantasy portrait model, as you can see right here on the screen. With this model, we can create some really amazing results. For example, you can see a few sample outputs here. The expressions are copied from the source video, and the output above is the fantasy portrait, while the video below is the original. As you can see, the replication is very accurate and smooth. In this video, I've actually prepared two workflows for you. One. One, with a normal fantasy portrait. Two, another where I've included multi-talk as well, which allows us to generate lip sync videos. Now, as you can see from the examples on screen, we are comparing with live portraits and even sky reel. In the bottom right corner, you'll see our fantasy portrait output. Personally, I think the traditional live portrait always had a problem. When there's too much motion, it starts flickering and doesn't handle the movement very well. That's where this model really shines. Another great thing is that this model can even handle animal animations. Yes, it's not just for humans. You can also do audio-driven portrait animations, which makes it very versatile. In my tests, I've also combined both the fantasy portrait and multi-talk. The results are very good, especially when it comes to lip sync, head tilts, and natural expression transfer, as you can see here. In my opinion, it performs better than a live portrait and most other models available out there. Of course, that's just my view. You can judge for yourself when you try it. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot. All right. Now let's head over to the GitHub page and the Hugging Face website. Here is the model we'll be using. You just copy this, download it, and then paste it inside your Diffusion Models folder. As you can see here, this is the fantasy portrait model for Band 2.1. Now, in the first workflow, we'll just be using the fantasy portrait model without multi-talk. So, let's set it up. Here's the video we're using and the expressions we want to transfer to the portrait. For this workflow, I'm using light text to image to video. Specifically, this is the normal band 2.1, image to video at 720p, using the 14B version. For the prompt, I've just written something simple, like woman talking, nothing complicated. We're running this with six steps using DPM++. Here's something new landmarks. Landmark to image tracking is used here. You'll notice these white dots placed on the face. They cover the mouth, eyes, and other key points. These are used as motion detectors for more accurate expression transfer. Now, let's zoom in a bit. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. As you can see, the video is not distorted. Her teeth and mouth are preserved properly. In other models, the teeth and mouth often get messed up but here everything looks much cleaner. Next, we'll bring in multi-talk. Before that, let me just show you the normal result without multi-talk, so you have a clear comparison. Here's the video and the image input. The settings are exactly the same, except this time I wrote a different prompt. The guy starts singing and playing the guitar. Everything else remains the same, with landmarks applied. This is the output without multi-talk. Now, let's enable multi-talk, connect everything properly, and run it. I'll skip the processing part and just show you the final output. For the audio in this example, I used Suno AI. The reason is simple. I couldn't find a suitable track online, and Suno generates copyright-free music and voices. I'm not sponsored or paid by them, it's just convenient and safe to use. Now here's the result. The night is 